Well, good morning and welcome to Friday Thoughts, Living Faithfully Together. Uh, I look forward to this every week, just a chance to connect with you in some small way. And this happens to be our Thanksgiving weekend. And we gather in various ways to celebrate Thanksgiving all across the United States. But this year it looks a whole lot different. Um, And yet I want to just state that I still think we have much to give thanks for. So I thought I'd start with one of the scriptures that I cherish. Give thanks to the Lord for he is good. Um, His love and his mercy endures forever. Uh, That's what I give thanks for. That even in the midst of a pandemic, God's grace and goodness is there for us. And even when we can't gather with family and friends in the way we would like, uh, God's love is still there for us. So I want to say simply as we begin today, Thanksgiving for 2020 is not canceled. Um, It's a little different, and it needs to be, given all the factors of what's going on. But um, we are able to still gather, we are still able to remember, um, and I think that if we love our neighbor as Christ commanded, including loving them as we love ourselves, we make choices this Thanksgiving that are different, uh, to gather in smaller groups or to remain apart, to not travel as we normally would, Uh, because we want to keep the the virus from spreading any further. Um, Just here in Chisago County today, the numbers are, we are now at 2,935 cases with eight deaths within our county. We have to take that seriously. And across our nation, uh, the death toll is now over 267,000 dead since March. And I think that's significant. Uh, But I don't want to just focus on that. Uh, I'd rather take a look at how do, we, how do we get through this rather abnormal time? And uh, I, I was reading an article that had some interesting things. It said three keys to doing that. Prioritize the mundane, mundane tasks, like even doing the dishes or taking a morning walk. Those things can be life-giving in this time. Those mundane tasks help to ground us and plant our feet on the ground, no matter what's going on around us. They help to anchor our lives um, and help us understand better. So how do we prioritize those? Maybe work at that um, with those we cherish and love. We also adapt our normal rhythms. Um, I love this statement. Normal is a setting on our washing machine. (laughs) I think that's great. Normal is simply a setting on our washing machine. There really is no true normal when it comes to navigating a pandemic. Um, But there are plenty of rhythms to our lives that we can find help to stabilize us. And uh, so that's what we focus on. We benefit from carving out some calm in the midst of the chaos by the familiar rhythms. Um, And so that means talking with those we love, making those phone calls, doing a Zoom call if we need, and I know we're fed up with Zoom calls, but uh, it's different when it's with people you love. Um, Going for that walk and uh, writing someone a note that says you care. Uh, Those normal rhythms, I think, make all the difference. And I'll come back to that in just a moment. And the last thing is, of those three, is to practice gratitude. We can cultivate gratitude even in difficult times. Uh, as we remember God's gracious gifts to all of us. So we embrace the mundane, we adapt um, the rhythms of life, we practice gratitude. And together those three can help us find a way through. I want to go back to that uh, second one of of somehow uh, adapting the things we do, uh, the normal rhythms. And one of those rhythms for me is the sense of humor, joy, that comes along the way. Uh, Here at Trinity, the staff we have shared so many laughs together. It's been such an incredible gift. And I just think that's really a powerful tool as we battle this, finding some way to laugh together. Um, for instance, I said early on, joyfully, playfully, just kind of goofingly, you know, when we go to college, we often talk about the freshman 15. We pack on 15 pounds in our freshman year of college. Oh, how many of us didn't go through that? Uh, what about the COVID-19? Talking about how we packed on pounds during this this virus from sitting around and eating in ways we haven't done before. I think it's probably more true than I even imagined. And so, especially on Thanksgiving weekend, if you've 
found a way to gather with people, or if not, have you know literally uh, eaten probably more than you should, and you're kind of sitting back, oh, and trying to recover from all of that. We want to share with you a video that Linda shared with me the other day. And I tell you, I haven't laughed so hard in a long time. It reminded me of my father and his brother when they would come together and tell stories and they laughed till they cried. 
And this is just a humorous sense that I hope you find joy, something worth laughing at in the midst of this time. Um, and let the laughter go and just let it be. And just know that in the midst of this, part of our rhythm here at Trinity is not only laughing together, it's also crying together and it's praying together for you on a daily basis. And so as you gather with family or friends or as you can't do that this weekend, just know that you are loved, you are cared about, and you are prayed for on a daily basis. And so uh, we celebrate you and we give thanks for you today. May God bless you and give you a very precious Thanksgiving. Take care.